Hello everybody, this is Jeremy from Infill Trinity again, and I am here doing another war recap. So I know it's been a while since uh, I posted one, so a uh, little bit of a break here just to show you a little bit of a war log. The last one was Boy Miente. Uh, as you can see, we lost two uh, wars following that. There's no recap to post. Uh, I took a three war break. Uh, during that time span, we went two and one, and then I came back for... Uh, our last war, which ended in a 25-25 draw against uh, this clan from Taiwan. Not sure how to pronounce that, but, um, uh, but their, as their clan description says, they are Taiwan. Looks like it's a pretty new clan. Not sure if it's a feeder clan or not, but uh, 10 versus 10. There's seven left after using his second and final attack uh, left immediately, and then after the war, their one seems to have left their clan. So... After they did use almost all their attacks, 19 out of 20, their last guy would not have made a difference. Um, he was that last player was an elder coming into the war. So looks like not using that attack ca caused him a demotion. We used all 20 on our end, so uh, we gave it our best, but could not win. We ended in a stalemate here, so unfortunately, not how you want to end a war, but it is what it is. So I wanted to highlight a few attacks here. One of them is by uh, Lucas. Here I want to show him against uh, this guy, CSLCS. Not sure if that's the right pronunciation, but it's a Town Hall 8 attacking a Town Hall 8. I showed this in one of my very first Clash of Clan videos on how to attack a base using uh, all dragons. As Lucas does here, he uses three lightning spells to take out a level 5 air defense, so his dragons are only able to uh, handle two air defenses. One is a level 5, the other is level 3. So they had a dragon in their clan castle. Most of these guys did. Dragons are okay um, in clan castles, but they do take up 20 spots, so it can be very easy to lure a dragon out. So, as you can see, Lucas drops his drags, that one air defense on the back end is out, and he's just letting, going to let his drags fly. He used the Barb King. There weren't any builder huts or any other uh, obstacles in the corner, so this made it uh, fairly straightforward and fairly easy to attack. The walls weren't a huge issue here. They weren't really leveled up, so a couple wall breakers would have done uh, just nicely. So, either way, I'm just going to let it run here. It's uh, very little resistance at this point. The level 2 drags and the level 3 drag from the clan castle are a lot uh way just way too much for this base to handle so great job lucas uh, lucas was one of three players on our side who or excuse me four players on the, uh from our clan to actually three star an opponent's base so uh great job lucas getting two of those um three star attack so the other um one i wanted to highlight is by our leader nexus against alan lee uh now nexus is going to do an attack that uh, we as a clan have never tried before he's going to use his, some air balloons there to lure out clan castle troops from that clan castle and as you can see it's a drag and wizard and an arch it looks like so uh doesn't look like or excuse me just a dragon two archers not sure why it wasn't uh filled 100 percent but uh he's gonna this is a very dangerous method to attack with because you don't have any troops to kill the clan castle troops other than your heroes so as those balloons will only go for defenses and those lava hounds are going to go for the air defenses first and then the closest thing to them. So he's going to start by dropping four lava hounds up top, get those defenses attacking them, those Teslas, those air mines, those air bombs, and those air defenses most importantly. So he could let his balloons fly. Those lava hounds split, turning into lava pups. They still draw the attention from the expos and all the other defenses. So that leaves his balloons plenty of time to attack. Make sure he dro you drop your rage spells right where the balloons are going, not where they currently are. He does it very nicely here, wiping through this base top to bottom. Those balloons stay pretty on course, and after that, the last air defense goes down. Those wizard towers aren't going to do too much Trouble for level 6 balloons, dropping his Barb King up top to take care of those barracks and those uh, gold collectors. So at this point, it's just cleanup duty. You just one archer tower left as those lava pups are just going to make their way around the base, avoiding any walls that would get in their path. And those storages do have high defense. So it's great to not waste time cutting down walls to take down those uh, defenses. So I'm just going to let it run here. It's just uh, cleaning up. Uh, things that just don't really attack you. So great job, Nexus. It's a very risky move by attacking like that because you don't have any clan castle troops um, 
it, it, to fight other than your heroes. Not exactly how you want to take down those troops, but it is the only way if you use a balloon and lava hound method. So the final one I want to highlight from this war is my go wipe attack against one of theirs a uh, town hall nine attacking a town hall nine here so i'm just going to drop my golems up top drawing the two archer towers i know the, where the teslas are this is the second time this base was hit um and my first crack at it so i know there's a tesla up top and a tesla right behind those archer towers as you can see up top so i'm going to drop my wizards take care of those pesky obstacles before dropping my pekkas and my heroes that way uh there's little room for those Pekka's to waste time hitting. I drop the rage spell so my troops walk right in it. They walk right through it. Those wall breakers take advantage of that rage spell, plow right through those bases, drop a couple of uh, spells, a rage and a heal, and just stack them together to make sure my troops stay long and alive long enough for this battle. And I forgot to use my iron fist ability on my Barb King, a total new part on me, but I get away with it here. My wizards are still on steroids from that last rage spell in the center in that death box area. So I haven't really deployed, I haven't even deployed my clan castle troops yet. I dropped my, my three archers on the left of your screen there on those elixir collectors, and my wizards are just going to make their way around this base collapsing on that bottom part here on the screen so my pekka i can see my pekkas have pretty low health i know there's a tesla down at the bottom but just to be safe i dropped my dragon and my air balloon uh from my clan castle i didn't really want those in my clan castle for this attack because uh, they are subject to be vulnerable to any air mine and air bomb as those were not set off by my troops uh there weren't any air attacks besides the ones in my clan castle but at this point uh very easy to clean up and uh take down this town hall nine so that's a way to go wipe on uh, one, one of my staples when i attack during clan wars so a uh, very nice job by our guys just wasn't enough in the end so uh, we are in the middle of another war, which I will do a recap of. So, hope you all enjoyed. Uh, sorry for the delay on the clan wars, but uh, there will be more to come soon.